not too shabby. Now this one wasn't working properly. It's gonna make it nice and strong, durable. They sent me the wrong size. Hi guys, welcome back. Uh, we're working on the solar project again today and uh, just wanna fill you in. I did get that uh, filler stuff to fill in the hole around where the PVC pipe goes into these walls here into through the garage. So I just have to cut that the straight edge and get that looking nice and then I can touch up uh, the paint on it. And if I bring you out here, I hooked up, you know, the whole cabling system with the PVC tubing and everything, put it underground. And let me get you turned around here. And here we are out back. So it's all underground. I got the four by four post where everything comes up. You got your emergency disconnect switch right here. Right here. You've got a, a protective cover here to protect it from rain weather. Of course, the solar panels are gonna move back over top of this. If you can see here, I'm gonna move. Once I get the frames built, I'm probably gonna start on those today. That is gonna come back here, and so the overhang of the solar panels will even protect that even more. And like I said, we're gonna get these up off the ground with our four by four frame. And so I plugged in just one panel. I just got this one plugged in right here and tested it. And you're never gonna believe. Stay tuned. And we're back. All right, so in here, I got the same type of setup the weatherproof cover over here where the wires come out just so nothing gets down into that tubing and I got also the great stuff foam this is the heavy-duty stuff fills up to three inch crevices so I gotta shave that off still and I got the blue Eddie hooked up but anyway the uh, PV solar wires come out of there like I said I got four wires total two plus and minuses so I got them going into this other emergency cutoff switch so I can either cut them off in here or out back in case work needs to be done uh, with the PVC line anywhere from the garage to out back. We can shut off the power going to those wires and panels. So I got the Blue Eddy thing. One thing I don't like the Blue Eddy, I don't know why the wires are so thin here. Here I use 10 AGW all coming back here and then it goes into something like shoot I don't know that's got to be like a 16 AGW or something I don't know why they did that with the Blue Eddy and they made them too close together I had to cut the sheathing off so that I could split them uh, one to one side one to the other side I had to cut the uh, black sheathing off and then anyway that comes here this is dedicated just to the Blue Eddy system it screws right in here to where it takes PV1 and PV2 solar uh, panel wires, PV wires. And it's coming in here. And guys, we have free power from the sun. Now today, I don't know if you saw, it's overcast. But one 400 watt panel, and uh, that's what we're producing. We've got, uh, what is it? It's covering around 88 to 90 watts coming in. Hopefully you can make that out. So yeah, that's the Blue Eddy AC 500 for 5,000 watts with the B300S battery that holds 3,072 watt hours. So we gotta still hook everything up. I'm gonna show you here. It's producing, like I said, around 85 to 90 watts this afternoon, but as you look, it's kind of like total cloud cover today. But there's like a 70% chance of rain. So there's my 4x4s four I'm going to uh, build the, uh, the racks out of. 
I got the signature solar racks, but then they need to be mounted to something solid that's going to hold them up off the ground, and that's what those 4x4s four are there. I had them uh, home delivered from Lowe's hardware store. All right, I'm going to see if I can clean this expandable foam up a little bit here, get it a little bit neater, as you can see there. And I just took a hacksaw blade and I got a straight edge uh, knife tool. Now that worked out pretty well, and uh, I don't even—I don't even think I need to do any painting. I mean, it's just a garage, right? Check it out; it turned out pretty neat, nice and flat around the connector box. Now, we'll see if we can kind of do the same outside. Now we'll see if we can get similar results on this side. Shabby. All right, so I'm cutting these three and a half feet, uh, one for each end, and then I've already cut one 80 inches for the length of the signature solar rack. So 80 inches long, and these are three and a half feet legs on each end uh, to prevent it from wobbling. It's going to give it some long feet, and I'm cutting it with this Ryobi saw right here. I've got, uh, I think those are nine inch blades from Harbor Freight I picked up yesterday and they're working really well. They go through these 4x4s fairly easy. Alright, next step done, kind of. I got this frame set up here. I got two screws in each side. They kind of countersink themselves. 5 16 by 6 inch screws from Lowe's. Here they are, nice construction screws, heavy duty. Got them in this side too. We got two in each side. Now what I did was I left a foot on the legs, a foot off of the back sides. And then I came in six inches from each of these end rails. And then there's a little over two foot out front. So it's gonna balance that bracket and the solar panels and do the weight distribution correctly, if my guess is right.
Nice. That one's completed. Now I gotta build an identical one for the next rack. And I gotta come back on my first one that I did yesterday and put the center foot on there and the two by four to keep them in place like that. It's gonna make it nice and strong and durable. All right, let's see if we can add some of these clamps on this four by four post out back here. And I did get all my panel brackets put together today. So I got uh, three halves of the signature solar put together. I got fourth half that I need more wood for, but I don't have two more solar panels anyway. So we're gonna go with that for now. And here is my post. Let's look at it on here. It's right here. All right, we've got some two inch wood screws with washers. Uh, this ought to work. That'll do the job. Pretty much that post there is gonna be protected because it's gonna be underneath the solar panels here, especially once I get them mounted up off of the grass here when I get the brackets. Now the little mounting claws here, they sent me the wrong size so they won't clamp down onto the solar panels tight enough. They're too loose. So I ordered some adjustable ones They'll be here uh, in a couple days, and then we'll get all this up off of the grass. Because we want our landscaper to be able to go ahead and trim all around these. So we have to get them up off of the ground. And that's the way I designed these mounts anyway. Signature Solar made them so that it would hold the solar panels up off the ground and tilted. All right, got this all wrapped up, I believe, for today. Uh, got all the solar panels up on their brackets up off of the grass so the landscapers can trim around them real nice and I got them all wired up today just a little while ago so we're gonna test that out when we turn the switch on so, gonna, so here they are got them all wired now they're about 40 volts each we got six of them so I got three of them in series and three of them over there in, in series. So three in series, three in series, that's about 120 volts. And our Blue Eddy can handle 150, up to 150 on each leg, which uh, we got two legs running back to the garage. This PB1, PB2 leg. Out here, I got it switched on so far. All the panels are up on their signature series solar mount brackets and the custom 4x4 ground mount system I did and we got the Sun up over this way it comes over the house like this and now it's about right there and it sits over there so these four will be getting you know when it comes up over the house and then as it sets this is gonna capture just a little bit more a couple more hours probably because of how I have it angled. So we're gonna test that positioning out for now and see how it works. Meanwhile, let's, uh, let's go back to the garage and check our Blue Eddy, flip on the PV solar switch, see what we got going on. All right, now we figure we got, what, six panels, 400 watts each. So six panels, six times 400, that's 2,400 watts, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. And uh, so they're all in there, 2,400 watts. They should be producing in full sun. Now, the sun's uh, kind of part way down now. Some clouds in the sky, not too many. So I'm gonna go, we're at the Blue Eddy. I'm already powering this refrigerator here and our sealing tube lights. So I've got one item, the refrigerator and sealing tube lights in. Right now it's drawing 238 watts, I believe, because the compressor's probably on on the refrigerator or freezer right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip this on. We got PB, looks like it's activating. 
pulling in the watts. Now, on a very, very good day, I know I don't have all of them aimed the same way, which I might have to adjust and maybe have them all face south uh, to collect the full, what, 2,400 watts. Right now, we're at 860. Now, I did come out here uh, before I shot this video, and uh, it was getting up to 1650. So I believe we probably got a little bit of cloud cover right now. But see how that 860 some watts, 840 watts, is offsetting this by three times the amount. So it's powering this for free. This uh, refrigerator freezer, garage freezer here, and the ceiling lights, the tube lights. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Got a little bit of information for yourself in case you're interested in a project like this, using a power station like this. Uh, I'll leave the links to all the products and stuff that I use below and uh, creating the solar panel racks, the wiring, and also for a power station that you might be interested in, in or you want to research it, check the links below. And guys, let me know all of your questions, comments, uh, leave them all below for, let's make this like a help uh, environment place for people who are just getting started into solar power, maybe partial solar power in their homes. And uh, let's create a nice comment section with questions and answers down below this video. And remember, stay tuned because I have to do next, uh, install two transfer switches into our main uh, power boxes here. So stick around, subscribe. I'll see you on the next one.